I'm a certified technician and let's go over how to remove this motherboard. I've already removed all the screws from the panel with this screwdriver. Links are in the uh, description down below on the pry tool to loosen the panel. If you're not sure how to do these ahead of time, then you can look up a disassembly video or look at your computer's manual. But let's focus on the motherboard removal process. Okay, so first thing you do uh, is we have to detach the power from the motherboard. This is the most important and essential activity. I, I'm going to grab the two little tabs and zoom in here from the side and I'm going to pull back being careful not to handle the motherboard too much just like so because you don't want any power because you don't want to make a connection that's not there and perhaps short out your motherboard. I'm taking out the battery and now I'm going to immediately go ahead and start unplugging all the plugs. Um, that particular battery did not have any screws in it, so it just pulls right off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it, and I'm gonna pull this little flap up, pull it down on the ribbon cable, and I'm just gonna keep going like this, pulling up the little flaps and pulling out the ribbon cable. Be careful with those little flaps on those connections that, because they can be rather fragile. And I'm gonna keep going like this. Um, these large ribbon cables sometimes are kind of taped down, so be aware of that. Like this one, I'm gonna grab it from underneath and pull. There we go. And I'm gonna keep going here. I'm plugging it. Now this kind, this particular kind, of port I'm going to show you here right here it opens unlike this one from the back these find I find um, break a little bit easier so be especially careful so go ahead pull it up and then I'm going to pull the ribbon cable out and then we will see the solid state drive that's underneath now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to attach this so I'm going to take this screw off of this solid state drive like so and as you notice everything I handle I handle from the edges uh, because it's really what's recommended because you don't want to handle components too much that's how you short things out that's how the oils on your fingers can cause problems for the components they really need to be dry and handled a certain way okay so next I'm removing the screws from the heat sink. Uh, now one thing to keep in mind with the heat sink is it bends so incredibly easily so we're going to be careful how we take it off because once you bend it or have a kink in it that it won't cool the computer as well as it did before. So we're going to be really careful with this when we pull it off because sometimes it can get stuck with the thermal paste and kind of cause some problems. All right, next thing I'm going to do though before that is I'm going to take the fan off because sometimes they're, they're a unit that's taped together. So I just find it easier to take them off, you know, at the same time. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out this cable. Let me give you a better shot here. So let's pull this cable out. Once again, we're going to grab the tabs on the side. Do not grab the cords. You pull just the cords out, then you often will break the plug, my friends. So let's not do that. All right. Just like that and now we're going to go back to our motherboard we're going to pull off that heat sink carefully if there's any sort of resistance we're going to wiggle and shake it loose we're not going to just yank on it and cause it to bend as you can see it came off nice and easy so that was not an issue next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish taking off some ribbon cables and this is what the heat sink look like all right now let's get to it same thing more uh, more cables we're going to pull off those are your wi-fi antennae so now those are off and now i'm going to once again pull up that back flap being careful not to break it because i find them to be the most fragile i'm going to grab the tab this one's a little glued on so i'm going to have to kind of get it a little loose there we go all right let's keep going let's undo this l LCD cable being careful not to bend it once if you break them at all oh they're very unforgiving so just like that I'm going to do it again so you can get a better shot here there you go and now we're going to finish removing the screws so and once again the um the screwdriver, not sure if I mentioned this, is that I'm using this particular video is in the description down below. So it's the pry tool. So if you need an exact one, uh, I put a set there that this screw comes in and it works for really well for computer repair. All right, now we're working on the hinge to the screen. Now I'm going to show you a really way, easy way to get this up. A lot of people just try pulling on it. It doesn't work very well. I'm just going to back the computer up, open it. 
voila, it comes up like that. So that's the way easier way to do this. And then there's one last screw and then we are good to go. And also if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more great videos, guys. All right, here we go. It's free, just like that. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.